Hello and welcome to Radioactive Sponge. Have you ever looked at the periodic table and noticed that the mass of each element has decimal places? Which is kind of odd, considering the fact that we approximate the subatomic particles with whole numbers. You don't have... you got whole numbers are just 1, 2, 3. We don't count decimals. So why are we getting decimal values? For example, protons, we give it a relative mass of 1. Neutrons have the same number, we give it a relative mass of 1 as well. Now electrons are special because they are roughly 1840 times lighter than the other two. So if you added them all together, if you had like a maybe a hundred electrons for, for a hydrogen atom, you would imagine that it would practically have no difference at all to its overall mass. So we usually don't count the electrons at all, it's just a waste of time. From these properties, you would expect each atom's mass, the whole combined mass of all the particles inside, to be in a whole number as well. For example, hydrogen, you would have a value of 1. Lithium, you'd have a value of 7. And neon, you'd have a value of 20. And so on and so forth. But this is simply not the case. This is because each element on the periodic table can exist in a multitude of isotopes. That is, the same element, but with different numbers of neutrons in the nucleus. Some of these isotopes are more common than the others. Now to take this into account we use a calculation known as a relative atomic mass which is basically a fancy name for the average of all the isotopes together taking, it and taking into account how abundant each isotope is. So if some, you know, some might occur more than others. The mathematics can look a bit scary, but it's very simple. Basically, we take the isotope mass for each of those isotopes, and then we scale them down or up, depending on how abundant they are, with percent. For example, suppose that magnesium has three isotopes. So magnesium-24, which has an abundance of 78.8%, magnesium-25, which has an abundance of 10.2%, Magnesium-26, which has an abundance of 11%. Each percent value can also be expressed as a decimal multiplier. This is very simple, you've done it before. So if you say 50% uh, is the same thing as multiplying something by 0.5. Similarly, if you got something uh, worth 12%, uh, you could just multiply it by, multiply your original by 0.12. Having said that, for each of the isotopes in this example here, I've scaled each of those uh, magnesium isotopes, magnesium-24, I've scaled it down by a multiplier of 0 0.88. That's reflecting the 78.8% abundance. And I've just added that to the magnesium-25, multiplied down by 0 0.102, reflecting the 10.2% abundance. And the same on so on and so forth. And eventually you get a calculation of 24.322 grams. But technically, this unit should actually be grams per mole, but that's going to be for a later lesson.